Alright, this is really weird for me to say, but Postpol is practically finished. This is a project I started creating to help me animate on some personal projects. And I didn't really think I'd go so far because of Godot's lack of support for animation-related add-ons. But surprisingly, I managed to get some hacky workarounds to make some interactions with the timeline possible. Somehow got it working. And here we are, close to release. The hugest problem that became apparent last devlog when I tried to move Godot's files into the add-on directory is that the postlips textures relies on the way Godot references resources. So when the images are moved, it still references the old paths and all of a sudden, all textures are invalid. Well, I'm glad to inform that I fixed it. I made a reference system similar to Godot and a dependency manager pop-up similar to Godot. Yes, I reinvented the wheel. Hopefully it doesn't hit performance too much, the extra steps to get the value and all. The only problem now is that the gas path button is kind of dumb, so you'll need to manually fix a file for each unique directory. It's better than no automation at all, I guess. Oh, and here's a rhubarb lip sync for Godot crossover. I ported the file preview select scene. And now that the resource reference break problem is fixed, Godot's files are finally public on a repo. I guess I forgot to stage her since the last devlog. Sorry. Her directory is on res addons posable example rig godet. The biggest improvement in this version is certainly the pose options tab. I've separated them in some columns and implemented some more options. I've added an update from template button, which inherits the track data from the template in pose creation. Added an ignore scene check button, so the preview would skip values from the scene, but only visually. Also added a key template check button that makes you key the template before the pose. Implemented a don't key on duplicate, which ignores keying if the previous key has the same value. And finally, queue key at time, which was the hardest to code. It queues the pose values at the selected time to be keyed only after you key a pose. I tried to make a pretty marker as a child of the timeline, but it doesn't follow the current time, so it ended up looking hacky and gross. Wanna mess with time in Godot? Y yeah no, no you can't. I implemented some debug options, but you'll probably never encounter it as a an user so I'll go briefly. Slice audio key. Duplicates an audio key and cuts both in half. Force open file dependencies pop-up. Opens the dependency manager when the original way doesn't open by normal means. And finally, clear out tracks, which of course does... I forgot. The page system is finished. Only a number of poses will be visible at the page. It's now only visible on the palette tab. Makes sense. Also the zoom slider is visible just on the palette as well, so the UI is a bit cleaner. Speaking of cleanness, some pop-ups were changed so they resize consistently. And seeing as the palette has its own tab, it only makes sense that it just gets filled when the tab is selected. I made a settings pop-up so you can change the pose lib extension on the go, prefer you the res or the tres. And finally added a select all nodes checkbox to batch key pop-up, because selecting all nodes manually is tedious. So that's it, I don't think it will take long until I publish it on the asset lib. I do want to wait a bit for people to give some feedback and report bugs before it's released. So if you're interested in helping me improve Postpal, do feel free to install the add-on and give some feedback. Also, I want to finish the Godet rig until then. Without different hands and expressions, it really doesn't show the full capability of the add-on. Now that it's so close to release, I'm gonna make some tutorials and demos of the add-on. So if you didn't understand a lot about what I've explained through the devlogs, you'll have an easier time getting it working. Until then, I updated the readme to hopefully explain the add-on a bit better. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like. See ya!